There's something that's become very popular, one of the primary research techniques now. It's called cultural anthropology. And there are firms that specialize in this. Um, I was recently visiting a, a firm called RED that's based in Copenhagen, RED Associates, and they have cultural anthropologists who follow consumers around in the home at their offices and learn by observation how people are interacting with competitive products. They can talk to them and, and really gain insights that you don't really get from focus groups. So I think that cultural anthropology is really a, a very, very good way to understand that. Then you can do one-on-one -on -one interviews with individual consumers, you can do focus groups, but you can do um, inexpensive qualitative research to try and understand how consumers feel about product categories and maybe the new ideas that you might be bringing. One of the, uh, the other things I think it's very important for New Zealand businesses to do is to assess the local market competitors. So what other companies are in the United States in their category? How are they positioning themselves as being unique and different? And how can New Zealand come in and be a better alternative versus the existing competition? So I think that that's critical. I think another thing that New Zealand companies can do is to try and understand the stage of development of that product category and what market segment are they entering and how fast is the market growing, um, who's doing well, looking at marketing techniques, print advertising, etc. that competitors are doing and um, you know, try and assess what their marketing strategy might be. But different markets in different areas of the world are growing at different rates and sometimes something becomes popular in one market and so you need to understand the awareness of the product category, um, you know, what the competitors are, et cetera, and how fast um, is this a trend that's growing or is it at the incipient stage, but kind of understanding that piece. Um, another Thing that a lot of companies look into is the channels of distribution and intermediaries that can help them. There are some markets where it's parts of the world where it's very hard for a company from another country to enter by itself without any help and support from local intermediaries. So I think that that's very important. Um, you may need a sales organization or a broker to help with the selling process. Um, you might partner with someone else that might help you with the marketing and distribution, etc. So I think it's really important to look at who are the local players that might actually be able to work with you. And it, you may give up a little bit, but you may be making more because what the total of what you're making because you're more successful might actually be higher.